Welcome to Let's Learn Optometry. In this video, we will see about the tear film. Tear film. Tear film is a thin layer which covers the anterior surface of the globe. In this picture, the cross section of cornea is shown in light blue and the tear film is shown in pink. It has several functions. It keeps the ocular surface moist and serves as a lubricant between the globe and the eyelids. It traps and removes the dead epithelial cells and debris. It is the primary source of atmospheric oxygen to the cornea. It provides a smooth refractive surface necessary for the optimum optical function. It contains antibacterial substances like lysozyme, beta lysine, lactoferrin and immunoglobulins to help against infections. It helps to maintain corneal hydration by changes in the tonicity that occur with evaporation. It contains various growth factors and peptides that can regulate ocular surface wound repair. The tear film is composed of three layers, the outer lipid layer, the middle aqueous layer and the inner mucus layer. Let's see them in detail. The outermost is a lipid layer containing waxy esters, cholesterol and free fatty acids. It is primarily produced by the meibomian glands and a small amount by the gland of Zeiss and Mole. We will see about these glands in a separate video. The lipid layer prevents evaporation and provides lubrication for the smooth eyelid movement. The middle aqueous layer contains inorganic salts, glucose, urea, enzymes, proteins, glycoproteins and most of the antibacterial substances. It is secreted by the main and the accessory lacrimal glands of Krauss and Wolfring. It helps to fight against infection, provides oxygen to the cornea and helps in hydration and wound repair. The innermost mucus layer is composed of the glycocalis secretion from the surface epithelium and mucin produced and secreted by the conjunctival goblet cells. It acts as an interface that facilitates adhesion of the aqueous layer of the tear film to the corneal epithelium. Mucins can also bind and entrap bacteria and viruses which prevents infections. It is a picture showing the main lacrimal gland near the eyebrows the meibomian gland in the upper and lower lids and the goblet cells in the conjunctiva. Thickness There are significant variations among different studies with the average value being 7 to 10 microns thick with the aqueous layer accounting for the 90% of the total thickness of the tear film. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Let's Learn Optometry for more optometry and eye care videos.